It was in February this year when Jérôme Champagne renounced his candidature for becoming the new FIFA president. Sepp Platter won, but resigned only five days later. On the 23rd of October, Champagne re-entered the competition for a new election. Why does he try it again? The situation has changed completely. I mean, uh, before there was an election between Mr. Blatter, the outgoing incumbent president of FIFA, and three candidates were, were manipulated and created by UEFA. So you could see it was a, a fight between institutions, between the, uh, Platini on one end and Blatter on the other one. Now the cards have been, uh, have been completely redistributed. Everything is, is, is different. So it's a much more fluid situation. That's why also there are more candidates. Can someone who has been in FIFA for years and worked together with Blotter be a reliable president? <laughs> exactly. I, I think it's because I worked in FIFA during 11 years that uh, I, I know exactly what can be kept and I know what has been changed. Secondly, um, I've been fired in January 2010. I've been fired by some people, not to mention them, but I'm going to mention them. It was a coalition of people like, like Jérôme Valk, like Michel Platini and, and Mohamed Bin Hammam. Uh, and they all suspended. I know exactly what can be kept because it's well done and I know exactly what has to be changed. And this experience is a huge, I don't think it's an handicap, it's a huge advantage because if I'm elected on the 26th, on the 27th in the morning at 9 a.m. I will be immediately able to work because I, I know exactly how this house functions. I know exactly why we can do well with this house and I know exactly what went wrong. Um, but definitely FIFA being a presidential regime I think the president of FIFA has a very strong responsibility, not only on a moral point of view, but also in terms of simplicity, in terms of accessibility. It is someone um, uh, who, who will be perceived, he's like us, he loves football. After all, one thing is sure. We need, we need a new start and we need a new president.